from Cal's Crafts. Welcome back if you've been before and hi if you've not. Um, this is my floss tube. I'm just going to be talking about what whips I've done. Um, if I've got to complete what I'm thinking about doing and what haul I've got, what I've bought in. And then at the end I'm going to flip through the number one for designs cross stitcher magazine, which I always do. Um, so yeah, shall we start with a finish? I participated in M and Matt Fitzgerald's uh, Stiotch alone 2020 and we had to do Bless This House and well, that's supposed to be Hugh Laurie from House but it looks like it's Hugh Laurie that's done 10 rounds he's got a squashy nose and his eyes are a bit squiffy with Rocky doesn't he but it's the first time I've ever done I've only ever done a bit of cross stitch and as you know I'm only just starting that I've never done long diagonals, once component one, component two, quarter stitches, half stitches, bloody bit of a stitch and over top of stitches and then put another one. Oh, I was totally lost. Totally out of my depth on this one, but I did it. I was in team stitches and sips and stitches and they were so supportive it was unreal. As I would definitely would not have. I'd have given up. I would have given up on the eyes, definitely given up. But I had a go. They aren't brilliant, but for a first ever attempt at all this, I am chuffed to bits with how this turned out. So that is my first finish, and it's my first ever stitch. You can still do it. It's still all the patterns are up on their site if you want to go over and have a go. Oh, why is that gone all bright then? Do you see how bright that went then? See how bright it went? I don't know why. Hang on. I've got my light on its side. Is that better? That's a bit better, isn't it? Not so bright. So that's a finish. I'm dead chuffed with that. And this one I got for my birthday of Mrs. Coffee. And if I remember, I will try and put pictures up by the side. So that was it. And then I've done... Can you see? I've done the top bit. So I've done got the two birds done, the bit in the middle and the little arrows done. So I've done this here and some down there. A few stitches down there. I can't remember if I've done that last week or not. But that's what I've done. So I'm chuffed a bit. Yeah, I've done that one. That was the first bit I did, wasn't it? So it must be this bit. Definitely a bird. This bird, so that's it. This bird and that. And that bit there I've definitely done on that so I've done the fun on that one and this one is a home sweet home from lifetime samplers and I absolutely love it it's on 14 Ada and it's a dream there's a lot of the only thing with this one because it's like you know there's a lot of oh, I don't think my back looks too bad because you've got a lot of tying off to do unless you want strings going over because there's only a few stitches of each colour but so I picked that one up and down right I haven't got the picture to this one but if anybody's doing this one they'll know did you beans this was out of the number one cross stitcher magazine if you have a look at my last videos I've got photos of it on and it's a big balloons loads of balloons in the sky and I finished that one and I've done the outside of this one and now I've finished done the greens and the pinks and finished the whites here so the second balloon apart from the basket because the basket's down here I haven't finished the basket so I've chuffed to bits with that I think it looks really cool and again I'm ch just working so well with the, the fabric that I dyed chuffed to little mint balls I am chuffed with that I am chuffed that then my other one is my sampler from long dog samplers you have to excuse the statement i look hot and bothered because i am hot and bothered i've got the fan on i bought a fan yesterday i am sweating cobs the fan isn't strong enough it's just too hot too clammy and yeah so yeah take me as you see me all right so this is the one that i'm doing the long dog sampler yeah and I was working up here and down here so there 
there you go that's how much I've done I've done a little hiccup here last night I was unfrogging because I put that here and I thought that don't look right so I had to unfrog all that and then redo it but I finished this bit here and done a bit down there I don't seem to have had the time this week to do my cross stitching much but it's starting to look good isn't it and I think I took photos of my progress last week so I will try again to put it up up there for you to, to, to see so dead chuffed with that that one was um, um, very kindly given to me but that is a 237 by 210 stitches in that one and this is on 14 count easy grid that one I forgot to tell you that one is on 14 count that I dyed it was white Ada and I dyed it myself and that's designed by Susan Bates that one she does a lot of designing for the magazines so yeah 14 counts as you can see is the one that I normally normally stitch in I have a sip of tea I'm gasping we got swollen tonsils so I might well that was all my stiot stuff so that's all finished but I'm going to keep that because I might at a later date have another go and see if I can do the eyes any better so I'm going to keep all that on file for that so I've now got an empty project bag so I need to fill it don't I what do you think so I said to you lot the night that I was looking at that couple so I'm gonna do the peppermint purple from Peppermint Purple's name of the site, Blackwood Pattern, the Blackwood Heart, 71 stitches by 61. Um, I've got a piece of Ada, small piece that I've got, I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that heart, but I'm going to do it in this variegated floss. And Teresa Addy has decided that she wants to have a go at it, so I said we're going to both do this together, which will be nice. So it'd be nice to actually do this one with somebody else. I'd, I'll have to ask, I'm not sure what colour she's going to do it. Because there's two, four, six, eight, ten colours, believe it or not, in there. Um, I might change my mind when I start it, because there's all the colours on there. But I think I'm going to go for the variegated. I think that would look pretty. Only because I just want to. Because that one there I got from France, I think. Yeah, France Baudet.net. And then you know that I want to do the long dog sampler because that now you can't get hold of that now. It was free for a week. But I haven't got any material big enough. I thought I'd got a piece of material big enough. But I thought I ordered it in inches and I ordered it in centimetres. Because I'm fancying to have a go. Never had a go on anything but 14 count, but I want to have a go on 28 count. So I'm going to order a piece of 28 count Ada for this one. I might regret it. I thought I'd order the piece, but I, as I say, it was centimetres, so I will use that for something else. So, yeah, so I need to order a big piece of material, and then I'm going to do the long dog sampler. I've ordered some floss. I haven't ordered it all, because it's hell of a lot you need one hell of a lot so i've ordered some of that which i'll show you after but this one i really want to start i'll take it out of here because it will be shining because it's in a little this one if i can i've got a photo of me and my daughter holding hands and which i just love and i love this one I think it's very quite appropriate at the time and this was done by Maura Design Studio she's on Instagram Maura Murray I think um, but on pin Pinterest she's actually got her site on there if you look at that Maura Design Studio and she's got all her free patterns on there and this is one you could also do it on white Ada as well or 
um, me and Millie were looking at both of them and if they're not and I thought it stood out more on the black Ada so I'm going to do that one so I've got the threads into that one and it is 14 count Ada it says to do it on 78 by 118 stitching design area 14.15 by 21.41 centimeters and the thread used was DMC stranded and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then there's a lot of, um, oh, I can show you that. That's all of them at the back. And there's a lot of blends. And like, because I've done blends now on the Stiotch, I'm quite happy to do blends on here, which I think would be interesting. But there's, hang on, let me get that out so it doesn't glare. I know, not for to finger, but I'm at home. Right, I put that there, and that's all her contacts for Maura Moran. She's, she's got quite a lot on there that she does for free, free um, with patterns, which if you haven't got a lot of money is great. So that's that. So I'll show you the fabric that I've got for that. It's in this little thing somewhere. So this is the fabric. I've not opened it yet. Again, 14 count Ada because I thought if I'm doing black, I've never worked on black, so this is going to be a first again for the black. So that's the 14 Ada. So I'm hoping it looks fairly, you know, straightforward with the doodars, with the holes. And then I went to Lakeside Needlecraft, which is that because they're reasonable. Them and Enchanted Needle I tend to use because they're really reasonable. So you had to have one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten colours. So these are, I don't know what you need there. I think the 310 is in a blend. Yeah, depending which one you, yeah, 310 is in a blend as well. Because a lot of these are in a blend. But I have got a piece of, um, not that one, the 28 count that I bought by accident, which is in this mess somewhere that's on my table. Is anybody else messy? Which was... We all like somebody that's not organised, and that's me. Is that one? And it feels absolutely. That's the got twenty eight count Brittany. It's called Brittany Lugana. So I'm thinking if I don't get on with the black, I can transfer it onto that. But I'll show you the colours. I'll show you the colours on this because it you they'll pop better on this. Yeah. What they call this a floss toss, <laughs> floss thread more like. So ready. So that's the colours that we're going to be using in the hands. So they stand out on that. And I'll put it against the black. I mean, you're not going to see black on black as such. No. But the other colours really pop on that. Up the one I dropped, which was that one. So that's one that I intend to to do, and I put that there. So that's that one. So I thought I might start that one this week, and then I got some um, easy count. Some of this. Oh, it's got a cut across there. Um, 50 by 50, I think it says 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres. And I can't remember why I bought it. It's got to be for one of these projects. I think as well, this might have been what I thought to use for the long dog sampler and again ordered it in centimetres and not inches. But we live and learn because we ordered it roughly the same time. 
Then I've ordered from Enchanted Needle, I wanted some more green for my um, crossword one from Long Dog Sadler. And then, as you can see in there, I ordered some variegated. Because I'm thinking, I know I've got that other variegated that I was going to use. For the letters which would have been this one with the letters for this yeah which I think will work but I also wanted to see I quite like that one so I got a couple of um, skeins in so I've got three skeins to try or I might do some words in this one and some words in this one. Why? Because I can. <laughs> Other reason. So I like, well, I just saw that when I was ordering the green and I thought I've got to get a couple, a couple of them in. So that's what I did. So I got some green in because I've got some, some of them already, but I just wanted to get a few more in. Especially seeing as I've fogged quite a few things out. So that's that. Okay, we're going to have a lot of time doing that after. So that, that, that's everything. That took a while to come, that did. Yeah, the only thing with Enchanted Needle is that's taken, it's in Britain, and that's taken two and a half weeks to get here, which I thought was an awful long time for a British company. Now, Lake um, side, that's here within days. So I might go and just order off them from now on. Excuse me, my craft kitten has, I'm still waiting. But apparently it has been dispatched. So hopefully I'll be able to show you next week. Right, I've ordered a few things from China. Because I want to make some more cover minds. Not cover minds, well they can be cover minders for my diamond art. Or needle minders. Now you've probably seen that one is one of mine that I've made. And... That one I've made, which is one of mine. What have I got on that one? Yeah, that's the same as that one. So I've got a couple of those. And I did go a couple of those, which I've given away. So I saw, which I've noticed some of these are all broken. Oh, brilliant. So I need to photograph these and send them back. Are the gold ones broken? Right, this is what they should look like. And then they come in with one missing. Can you see it there? So I've got one, two, three, three with a missing. So I've got silver and gold. Can you see? It? I can't really see me. Of them sparkly sparkly and the silver ones as well that's gone flying to make some more needle minders so if anybody wants a needle minder just shout me they can um, do them one and they've got like li little dormantes there can you see around each thing so i'm disappointed this three is broken i don't know whether i've got any pearls in my and they've obviously put them in because there's they're not in there. But it doesn't matter. So I've got them. So they're supposed to be six of each colour. No, four of each colour. Five of each colour. One, two, three, four. No, five of each colour. So I'll turn them into needle minders. So that's that. So that's all my haul. Not an awful lot, but because I think there's about four other different designs of different things that I've ordered in to do some with on that. So if that one's coming in, they're all ordered at, the, ordered at the same time. So hopefully they'll all come in in this next week. Then the last thing to show you, so if you don't want to see it, it is the number one cross stitch magazine for July. 2020 issue 359 so if you don't want to see it now is the time to turn off if you don't want to know anything about it but i like to show you so you can then guess 
whether you want to hang on that was the cat it freaked me out when the door started opening i thought it was one of the kids but it's not the cat annette so oh, let's have a look in here we've got a freebie gift which is a geo pattern summer purse kit and then the next installment of the summer stitch along part two continue today i haven't started that i need to start that as well so that's your freebie and it's got all your bits that purse might be nice good but it's involved sewing mean sewing don't get on so that could be put to the side so this is the front cover so we've got a cricket scene so we've got sunflowers cricket scene pots of love and sparkles all unicorn picture happy birthday cards beach and spot sampler so if i hold that like that so if you like the look of them you might like this magazine so we'll have a look so that's what your purse should turn out like once you've done it correctly. Well, we know all know how my stitching went when we did the needle needle one. Looked nothing like, and I mean nothing like. Where is it? It's functional. That's my tip. That Pringle tin's where I put on my scraps of cotton. This was one out of there. All right. Now it should have been that way, and the pattern should have been that way, and it should have been dinky in there. But we went a bit wrong, so I made my own pattern. And yeah, I mean it does that, it's functional, it's just a bit, if you look at the edges, they're a bit like winky wonky and all over the place and you know, but hey ho, I don't stand to be a seamstress of any sort. So yeah, so that's that one. Then it tells you how to carry on doing your that's how your stitch along is going to look after part two. So that's good. That's going to look nice, isn't it? And also with them, you could just put bits of them on whenever you want. Then we have cross-stitch contents of everything that you've got going on in the magazine. Let me show you. So just a closer picture of them. That's nice, isn't it? That sunflower and the unicorn. Welcome, pages saying hi. Thank you for calling. We like you. Well done. Then people shown what they've done. I never tell you that, and I never tell you what this Jess does, because she's from little things, big things grow. That's her pattern for you to go and find out about. Then the summer savings on what material? Well, they show you they have their own, must be their own company. So it's got the materials there that you can buy. Then here is all usually what's in the magazine. And that you can, instead of getting the bits and pieces, if you decided to buy the kit, you could come in here and look, oh, beach trip materials kit, £33. So you can decide then which you want. So first one here is by who's it by? Zoe Patchin. And it's 58 high, 60 wide, and it should take you about five hours to do this one, the summer one this is. Now that's quite cute, isn't it? Would you like barbecue, you camping, sunflower, and your little bit of floss there. A beach bag you could put on it, watermelon. A good book, so she's obviously got loads of different things that you can put there if you wanted to. I suppose it's up to you, isn't it? Then we have the cricket one. You have to ignore the cat because she scrapped that again. I don't like cricket. But if you've got somebody that likes cricket, yeah, that's by Susan Bates. Susan Bates does a lot for this magazine. 168 high by 119 wide, 93 hours if you want to work on that one. It also shows you then how to frame it. If you wanted to frame it after. There you look. So it tells you all about how to frame. It tells you what material you want, everything. 
then your tips and tricks of what you think is really good then we've got pots of love you can either put it on a bag or you could put it on a card or you could make a bookmark or you can make a book cover endless absolutely endless what you can do with this this one was done on a 28 kang flax cashel that one was molly no thank you by Cheryl McKinnon. She's another one. It does move. And then we've got the Savvy Stitcher Stitch Up Summer Solbury Projects. Susan Penny shows how you can celebrate summer with delirious strawberry jewellery used in design create designs created with Duran Jones. She's another one. So it's turning little cross stitch things into jewellery. Look. Can you see it? These little cross stitch ones and she cut round them and then made them into bits of jewellery like buttons and things or a bracelet or a necklace. Not my cup of tea I've got to admit but you know. And she sealed the ends and the back with a bit of glue. Then you've got loads of advertising and then this I love. This is called Beach trip take a trip to the seaside our bold cushion design has it all from the bucket and spade to bright bright beach hats and i absolutely love this this was done on 14 count ada in ivory and it was with dmc stranded cotton and two gold with two gold plated tapestry needles of 24 and 26 and then they've got back in fabric and tassel trim not included in your project look at that isn't that stunning i absolutely love that how it just carries on in each letter isn't it gorgeous just love the c in each one and oh just brilliant and who's that's by ebba condon condon 46 hours that one that is beautiful though and then again, you've got your um, letter library. So you've got quite a few now building up, but this is sea creatures. Can you see? Okay, you can fishy, little octopus, and look, a little jockey. It looks more like a dolphin to see his teeth though, doesn't he? But I think it's supposed to be a shark. Well, I didn't know dolphin had teeth like that anyway. And that's by Fiona Crouch. We've got seahorse, starfish, crab, jellyfish. I don't know what that one called. It looks like a unicorn fish. Squid, shark, fish, octopus, lobster, clamshell, turtle, tortoise. No, is it a tortoise, turtle, turtle? Oh no, turtle is in the sea. Sea turtle, seal, uh, stingray. eel whale and then a few repeated on the other letters and numbers then we've got color me happy birthday so if you wanted to do birthday cards these are beautiful look do these on a black ada look how bright and cheerful they are aren't they there's them two there and then them two there i love them happy birthday Look at the way they've done it though. Isn't it clever? And best wishes. I think that's great. I might have to do one of those as a special birthday for somebody. And that one's by Duran Jones. Again, another one that does loads. Now this one's my favourite in this, this batch that I saw on the front. Look at that. Look at them sunflowers. Isn't that beautiful? But it looks like it's confetti heaven or hell depending on which way you look at it amount of colors are in there i don't think that's going to be i mean even in this bit here you can see there's loads of different colors in there i've got a feeling that would take forever fields of gold brighten a friend's day and stitch and send in our stunning sunflower scene 
Oh, yes. Confetti heaven. I'm looking at the pattern. As long as you don't mind confetti. It's not too bad. No, I could manage that. could manage that. It's not as bad. You can sort of weave in and out of it, so it's not too bad. I wish I could show you, but I can't. Then we've got a stitch back in time, what they used to stitch years ago. Then we've got Ready Steady Stitch. People showing what they've made. Quite nice. Do you want to have a look? She believes she could, so she did. I've seen these patterns all over Instagram, people doing them. And that one. Make it so. And then what does that say? Take life one stitch at a time. That's Durian Jones. That's Je Jessica Savage up there. She does it and it was Faye Walsh on the back. Oh, can you hear me fan? It's not only a little diddly one, but boy, oh boy, we need it. Oh, look at this. Magic wishes. Shining stars, glitter, love and hope. That's what the unicorns are made of. Now bring the magic of life in stitches and this is done on a 14 count royal blue so you'd have to have a blue fabric and this is a durian jones one look at that isn't that lovely oh, i like that one i know i like that one hope love scars I think it says stars or stars. Is that supposed to be stars? Oh yeah, stars. Hope, love and stars. Joy and kisses and glitter. Mm -hmm. That looks nice. That's on a 50 by 55 centimetre piece of the royal blue. So that'll be nice, won't it? And it says you can frame that same way as the other ones that you've done. This is nice. Peox. We like Peox in this house. Look, butterfly and owls and strawberries, flowers, a bumblebee. bee. You see the bumblebee bee there? That would be nice as well, wouldn't it? So who's this one by? This is by Amanda Butler, and that's on a 14 count Rustico Ada flecked oatmeal. And then we've got this another part of the stitch along there, which is quite nice. The March here and the Dormouse. And then the last bit is just beginner start here how to do it all. And then your crosswords. And then they don't really show you much in the August one, and that's the August one, which will be pretty. So there you go. Oh, and the sampler. So there, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that quick flip through. Sorry, it's quick and <laughs> quick and over. So I love you and leave you. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, please take care. Look after yourselves and stay safe. Bye for now.